Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Coach Josh. and welcome you guys out to Daily Plays with Coach Josh here on IGTV, where my goal is to give you guys plays every single day, if not every day, most days out of the week, equipping you guys to be, to navigate the different nuances of life. But with that being said, let's get to the first play of this series, which is God, Google, and Grind, or in other words, being resourceful. So many people are completely unaware of the resource that they have within them. So many of us are not as resourceful as we need to be. God has placed inside of you such wisdom, such giftings that it's sad that we have allowed the carnalities of the world to cement those things underground. God's objective is for you and I to pull from within us the resource that will help us to reach out, to reach to those that need us. But many of us have become so stagnant, so uh, so so planted in, in poor places to the point to where we have become ineffective for the things of God. In the beginning of your life, before you was even conceived in your mother's womb, the Bible said God God knew you. And in him knowing you, he has placed things inside you that he wants you to get to know. But the sad thing is, many of us are getting to know other things outside of the things of God, keeping us from knowing God and ourselves with the with the sole purpose of helping the world that we're in. What are those things in you that God wants to pull out of you, but you allow the carnalities of the world to keep you from being progressive? I have some points here real quick I want to get through briefly to help you guys navigate the nuances of, of the world. Many people are not as resourceful as they need to be. Right now, you are full of and surrounded by resources. Right now, you are full of and surrounded by resources. Everything that God has placed inside of you for with the sole purpose of you reaching out into the world to help those in need is already in you. Just like a computer comes with most of the files that you need for the full functioning of the computer, so, so did God place inside of you everything you need to fully fulfill the purpose that you have in your life. The enemy does not want you to bear the fruit that you were, were purposed to fulfill. He wants you to fulfill the assignments of this world. But when you know who you are and you know what you're supposed to do, your sole focus in this life is to ensure that you bear fruit of fulfillment. Right now, you are full of and surrounded by resources. Next point, your resources are only as strong as the source you are plugged into. Your resources are only as strong as the sources you are plugged into. Right now, you are plugged into a source. But the sad thing is, a lot of people are plugged into every other source other than God. And whatever you're plugged into outside of God, when that source dies, you die with it. But the beautiful thing about God, God has enough bandwidth to hold everybody else's frequency. He's the hot spot for your Wi-Fi. He's the hot spot for who you are. And he says, I have enough in me to sustain the whole universe, the whole world, the whole planet, and every person, but many of us are not willing to tap into the main source that will trigger the resources in us, that will cause us to reach with anointed hands and anointed feet and anointed world words into a dying world. Right now, your, your life is only as strong as the source you are plugged into. Let's get into my uh, G's real quick. We talked about God, Google, and grind, but I added three other G's. We're talking about God, Google, grind, grab, give back, and give glory. Let's talk about God. The S for this word is source. God is the supreme source. When you're plugged into him, you're guaranteed success. You're guaranteed sustainability. You're guaranteed to, pull, to be pulled out of the solutions that for the people you're supposed to reach. But so many of us, the reason why we are not as resourceful as we need to be is because we don't understand our source, who is God. In order for us to be resourceful, we have to be whole. The first three words of whole is who. In order for me to be whole, I must know who God is, who I am, and who I'm to reach. In order for me to be whole, and in order for you to be whole, you must know who God is, who you are, and who you're supposed to reach. When you don't know who who is, you're going to remove the W and you're going to be full of holes. The enemy wants you to be so full of holes that no matter what life or God endeavors to pour in you, everything that's poured in you will leak out of you. God wants you whole. And before I even endeavor to, to, to give back, to give glory, to grab or to grind, I got to know who God is. Do you know who he is to you? Do you know who he wants to be to you? Do you even know who you are? How are you 
going to be able to know who you're supposed to reach and who you are if you don't know who God is. And God is in the details. He wants to be in every aspect of your life. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not into your own understandings, but in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. My path is the steps that I walk on. The, the path is where I'm supposed to walk down in life. I need him to be a lamp to my feet and a light into my path. I need him to make my crooked places straight so I can make those who are crooked straight and, and, and making myself straight as well. But if you want to be whole, you got to know who he is. If you want to know who you are and who you're supposed to reach, you must know who he is. God is our source. When we go to God, we'll know who he is, who we are, who we're to reach. And once we know God, God will then send you, maybe maybe Yahoo or maybe you know, whatever MSNBC search engine, but he's going to send you to Google. Google means the S for this is search. Once you know who you are, God's going to be like, go get it. Go search it out. Go and go to Google. Go to Google and type in who, what it means or uh, how to be this, how to be blank. When you know who you are in Christ and you know who you are, you can then go to Google and find out how to do it. How to start a nonprofit, how to start a business, how to become a missionary, how to do whatever. You can go to Google and search out who you're supposed to be and find the steps to ensure you can do it in excellence. After you go to Google, next you must grind. And the S for that is seek. You got to grind. You got to go get it. Listen, people think that God is supposed to do everything. No, there's some work for us to do. You got to grind. You got to go get it. And yes, man, I know it sucks to grind. I've been doing this for 10 years. It'll be 10 years, October 30th. And I'm grinding still because I know there's the glory. As I'm being grinded, as I'm being pruned, then there's going to be a sweet fragrance of glory that's going to be given to God. And God always gives you a glimpse of who you're supposed to be, but he rarely shows you the grind. Because if he showed you the grind, you would give up up on the gift that he's placed in you and if you give up on the gift that he's placed in you there won't be no glory for God but you gotta grind and go get it because in the grind you find out who you are you go to God you go to Google then you grind you go seek and then you next the next G is grab grab means to secure Listen, man, the enemy doesn't want you to secure. You can know God, you can know Google, you could be grinding, but the enemy doesn't want you to grab. When you grab and secure that position, that place, that person you're supposed to be, when you grab that place and you become that man, you become that woman, you become that business owner, etc., then you will be able to be whole enough to help other people. When once you grind, you gotta grab, you gotta secure the promise, you gotta secure the position, you gotta secure the place, you gotta secure it because when you secure it, you can help secure others. Once you grab it ain't about you you gotta give back you gotta give back to people and the s for that is support every gift that god has placed in you was to support someone else who are you supporting are you doing this selfishly or are you doing this to support and provide solutions to lost souls and after that after you went to god google and you're grinding and you grabbed it and you gave back you gotta give glory and the S for this is not really an S, it's to ensure. Everything you do, you need to ensure that God gets the glory. Is God getting the glory out of your life? If you don't even know God, you won't know where to give the glory. Because in him that we live, move, and have our being. I have a play for you. I want you to ask yourself the question, how whole are you? I want you to define who God is to you. I want you to define what you are, who you are. And I want you to find who you are supposed to reach. If you don't know who you are in God, if you don't take the time to research and, and ask God, who are you to me? Who am I? And who am I to reach? What's the purpose of Google grinding, grabbing, and giving back and giving God the glory? One, today, I want you to reflect on how whole are you? Are you full of holes or are you whole? I pray this play was a blessing to you. Go out there and execute it. Get it done. Find out who you are in Christ. And I'll see you guys next time. If you want to learn more about what I do, go to IamUnplugged.com. Uh, uh, and you can learn more. You can give. You can get involved. You can learn more about what I do. I love you guys. Be blessed.